In today's episode of the vlog, we are here on set for Outlander season four, right here at the Newer. Jamie Fraser. Hello guys and how are you doing? Welcome to the vlog. Today I am here at Danur. That there is Danur Castle. And if I swing around, that is Danur Coastline. Very familiar for Outlander fans. Danur Harbour is there. And today that is the scene of a lot of Outlander season four filming. We're gonna go and check it out. We're gonna see some of the fans around there. We're gonna go and see if we can speak to anyone. I'm pretty sure they have used this location before. The castle here in this grounds here, these islands, these rocky outlets, all look very suspiciously familiar. I don't know what we're gonna see, I don't know who's filming exactly, I've got a hunch, I don't know for sure what they're filming down at the harbour, but I've got a feeling we're gonna see Brianna today. Who knows? Let's go and check it out. The whole harbour is occupied, they've got people on that side there, they've got people over there, people there, people all the way up and down here. They've built some artificial wooden huts here in the corner. It's all going on. A lot of activity down there, a lot of people moving around. It's fascinating. I just had no idea how many people were involved in this kind of stuff. Quiet please. Action. Guys, I can't believe it, we've just seen Ian and Brianna, they're here, they're acting, they're doing a scene. I wasn't expecting that, that's what's going down. Meanwhile, back in the low light. A quick interruption guys, important. There are so many spoilers and I think I have to check myself right now about what I'm showing. I feel I need to draw a very heavy line in the sand. At Danur, they are filming scenes with main characters and main plot lines right there at the harbour and it's in full public view. So many people from the public, including paparazzis, are hanging around, taking photos, videos, and all that kind of stuff. I have so much respect for the Outlander crew, the people behind it, the people who design costumes, the people who make the production happen. Because Outlander is an amazing show and it wouldn't happen without them. So I think we need to talk about this right now. Let's get it out there. Let's discuss it. And I need your input down below in the comments about what you think about this. I have filmed a lot of clips today of the actual scenes happening, the main characters, performing their scenes. We're talking about Brianna and we're talking about Ian. I don't think it's right to show those scenes here in the vlog. And the reason I don't think it's right is because like it's gonna be six months at least until those scenes actually appear. Of course we can talk about the general facts of what's happening at Dunyur. I can show you some general shots but I don't think I should show you the actual scenes happening. There are some costume things which are big spoilers going on. And guys just to jump back and forward in the timetable here since getting home from this trip, I have learned that the costume designer Terry is very, very upset that a lot of the images from today's shoot were posted online. I totally understand and sympathize with her as to why. At the same time, this particular location that they're filming, Danur, is so open to the public and has a main public street that they can't close, which had paparazzis on it and had such good access view of the actors doing their thing that it was probably one of the most difficult filming locations they could ever keep anything a secret from. So I do say that perhaps it wasn't the best location for them to give any big massive spoilers. Like, I don't know, it's just, it was a difficult one. But nonetheless, I do respect Outlander, the crew behind this, and their wishes and what they think. And although the images of Brianna in particular have been posted around the web on places like Just Jared and stuff, I think I need to be, I'm gonna be very careful about my edits here in this vlog, about what I show, especially because they were filming live scenes that we're gonna see on the television and I just don't think it's right for me to show them. I really don't. Like, I'll keep this footage and when that episode airs on television, maybe I can revisit this day in these clips that I took and show them to you, but I think putting scenes that they filmed on a vlog, I think is wrong. There's so many people behind Outlander, so many people behind the production and the acting, the cat, everything, like, together. And I don't think it's fair to them. Not necessarily to the viewers, because I know a lot of you guys like spoilers, but I don't think it's fair to the production to actually show scenes that they're filming. I'm gonna show the general parts, but the very, very close in of Ian and Brianna doing acting, I think that is just dodgy ground, so I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, back to Dunyur. Outlander filming. 
they went back and forward doing the same thing time and time again but it's cool to see we're going to do a wee tour of the castle here at Danur Danur, that's another place I don't exactly know how to pronounce Danur, Danur, I don't know anyway okay guys I'm a bit of an idiot because I didn't do my research and I've just discovered actually that this castle here behind me, Danur and this coastline here right here was all actually used in Outlander before several times I know the harbour was but this area was used for the scenes when Lord John Grey was looking for Jamie after he escaped Ardsmuir prison and he was looking for him along the coast and this is a coast here exactly where he was looking for him Castle looks really familiar as well though We're gonna have to take a better look Apparently the ancient seat of the Kennedys of Carrick Originally built in the 13th century Interesting Let's go and take a wee look inside I mean it is pretty ruined but it's cool The best castles are ruins anyway You can get, actually get inside some of the rooms here uh, You know what? I'm convinced this is the castle they used for Outlander I'm convinced this is the one where Jamie comes and looks Looks for the treasures Is that not that wall? Of that scene? You know the one where he goes Claire! Claire! I think it was here The episode where Jamie runs away From Ardsmuir Swims over to the island And it's actually this castle here, Dunyor Castle I could be wrong but this Here looks very suspiciously like The area Where the jewels were hidden. That's where I found the treasure. At least Kerr had been right about that. And like, I can't imagine they actually filmed on an island, so... Ah, uh, man. I think this is it, you know? Mud all over my shoes, but anyway, there's more exploring to do Let me have a look in here There's an old set of stairs here, but I don't think I can get up too far well, I wasn't expecting this when we came to do an Outlander tour today So this is really, really familiar Wow, Tech has found a, a stairway up Let's see if I can join her I mean, it's a cracking, cracking castle If this is the castle where they used for the island like, they should have like a plaque somewhere at the front You know, just saying, Jamie was here Dunyur was best known for the roasting of the abbot An incident in 1570 apparently no idea what that is, but there you go. I'm absolutely frozen just now. Back in the car, thank goodness for that. It's absolutely Baltic out there. I feel really sorry for the actors and the extras that are doing those scenes again and again and again and again in that cold. And some of them are not wearing the warmest looking clothes. Um, but that was interesting, really cool. I've got a few theories about what I saw, spoilers, and I want to talk to you about them when I get home in Edinburgh. Let's do it. All right, guys, I am back home. I have literally just arrived and I'm right into filming again. There's a couple of things we need to talk about from what we just saw at Danure. Season four filming underway. There's all sorts of things to talk about with this. Like, I haven't read the books. A lot of you guys know this, not to that level yet. A lot of you guys will be saying, read faster, read faster, but I'm not wanting to do that. I want to watch the show first. So everything I say at the moment is speculation, but it might be fun if we have a bit of a laugh here, if I speculate as to what I think is going on, and you guys can just have a bit of a chuckle behind the scenes because a lot of you who have read the books will know whether I'm right or wrong or not. That'll be funny. But a couple of things first of all, right? I was right 
Selkie Island is where Jamie swam out and got to the castle and found the treasure. But they also used Dunyar Castle as the castle on Selkie Island where the treasures were hidden. So Jamie was in there, in that room that I was in, exactly that spot. Well found. I didn't even know before I went, that was badly researched, but um, as soon as I went into that room, I was like, yeah, I know this location. So that was cool. Right, back to Dunyar Harbour. Important scenes being filmed there. So the fact that Brianna is back in the old times is of course a spoiler for myself and anyone else who hasn't read the books yet. But to be honest with you, I wasn't bothered about that particular spoiler. I don't want to see spoilers really, but that particular spoiler I wasn't bothered about because it was kind of obvious. As soon as we had an inclination in the previous season that Brianna could travel time as well, once you could hear the noise at the stones, I thought she is definitely going. There's no two ways about it. And probably most likely Roger as well. So the fact that she is back in time isn't really a big spoiler for me. I knew it was going to happen. But what is perhaps a big spoiler from what I just saw in season four filming there is the fact that Brianna is with Ian and it looks to be, this is what I think the scene that they were filming there, it looks to be that they, that Sophie was leaving Scotland and probably going on a boat and getting over to America where she will be searching for Jamie and her mum Claire. I've got a few things about that to say though. First of all, Roger. Where the bloody hell is Roger? That's what I want to know. Because he wasn't there. I thought, this is what I thought, right? This is in my mind. I could be wrong. As I say, I haven't read. You guys will know. Brianna would be going back in time through the stones. And I know Roger can go back and forward as well. Like, this is just obvious stuff. This isn't anything I've read. This is just my own intuition. Roger can travel time as well. And he probably went back with Brianna at some point. I could be totally wrong with this. You guys who know will might even just be at home laughing your heads off at me talking about this. I might be way off, but this is this is in my imagination working right now. Brianna travels back in time, goes through the stones, goes looking for Claire and Jamie and comes across Lallybrock, meets Ian and Jenny, and then through some form or another, Ian persuades her to go to America and that is why Ian is taking her to the harbour so that Brianna can depart and go after her mum and dad. But I fully expected that Roger would be there as well throughout this whole journey with her. Here's what I suspect. Roger does go back with her, actually. They make it to Scotland together. And then they go through a whole rigmarole of meeting bad guys. Lots of bad people who stop them doing what they'd want to do while they're in Scotland in those olden times. Perhaps Roger is even captured. So the reason Roger is not there at the moment is because he has been held captive. Why else would he not be going with Brianna? I'm sure he's there. Don't tell me he's not there. Come on, Roger. It's a relief to see that Brianna has encountered Ian and Ian is looking after her, getting her onto the boat where she will be departing for America. That is good to see. <sighs> really interesting. It was just really cool to be there at Dunyar to see the whole filming thing taking place, what was going on. I'm really torn about the showing of the filming stuff. I did tell you earlier on that I didn't think it was right to actually film them really close up, doing the scenes, acting out the scenes. Probably better that we watch that on TV first and then I can replay those scenes later on. But to actually play the video of them acting out the main scenes close up and personal, I don't know, like, I just had like a moral dilemma about that and I don't know what you guys think about that. Let me know in the comments down below. I will be discussing what I saw today over on Outlander the Forum, our Outlander discussion group on Facebook. That is the link down there. Make sure you check that out and join if you haven't joined already. We love to talk Outlander over there and you'd all be very welcome to join and join in the discussion. I would love to have you over there. And one last thing before I go, don't forget to check out some of my merch right now, which is available on the shop link down below. That's it. What else have I got to say? Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you guys as always. Hope you have an amazing night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care.